Hi guys, this is Zaheer of Sublime Trading. In this episode of Mentoring Mondays, we're going to be covering trade management. Managing a trade should not be an afterthought, which is often the case for many who find themselves in the 80% plus bracket who fail at trading, and often because they are day trading. Instead, trade management must be well thought out before the trade has even been placed in your broker account waiting to be triggered. Your rules to managing a trade once triggered and you are live in the market should be clearly stated in your trading plan. There must be absolutely no doubt or hesitation or any form of subjectivity when the time comes to executing the different parts of your trade management plan. Before we get into good trade management principles and how we do it here at Sublime, let's have a look at where people go wrong and why they fail to grow an account. Now, for most people, their definition of managing a trade often starts off bad from the moment they place a trade. First of all, most are trading on lower timeframes, where there is a lot more intraday volatility to deal with, and on top of that, using tight stops to increase the leverage in the hope of winning big. This approach often leaves you open to a large number of big losses as you can get easily spiked out of a trade, even if you're in the right direction of the market. Another mistake is simply to further tighten your already tight stop loss at the first sign of danger, that the market is moving against you, and this is often because you are way too over leveraged, which will cause you to panic and tighten stops. We cover our risk management rules in a previous Mentoring Mondays. In simple terms, risk no more than 2% per trade, so the loss is small and manageable, and to remove any attachment to the trade. Another form of bad trade management is to start off with tight stops and then to keep on moving the stop further away as price comes closer to triggering you out. Moving stops further away will play havoc on your position sizing and will lead to blowing an account, particularly if you are already over leveraged. When it comes to taking profit, bad trade management is setting target levels and taking profit way too early. You often hear the justification for this based on the common trading myth, you can't go broke taking a profit. That is totally incorrect and you most definitely can go broke taking profit as most who are day trading are faced with losses that are far larger than the profit they are making. Both taking profit too early and letting losing trades run by moving stop losses further and further away goes against the very foundation of good trading, which is cut your losers short and let your winners run. Most day traders take profit too early and often let losing trades run, which is how accounts are blown. The whole approach is upside down and back to front. So what is good trade management? First of all, always start with a wide stop when initially placing a trade. This has been covered in more detail in a previous Mentoring Mondays. With wide stops, you know that when the stop has been triggered, the trade has failed and you've not been stopped out on a pullback or an intraday noise. Then, as part of your trading plan and already pre-thought out, you must have a set of rules that prompts you to tighten stops when required. This could be when the trade initially fails, when price breaks through a key level of support or resistance, or when you've been letting your winning trades run for weeks, maybe even months, and have been following with a wide trailing stop loss, and price is now faced with a major level of support or resistance where a reversal could come in and so you tighten stops. Your pre-thought out rules must include how to tighten stops to remove any guesswork. Here at Sublime, we use the ATR of each instrument for all our stop loss calculations. A little tip for you guys is to make sure your tighten stop loss still gives price some space to breathe and move in case the trend continues to hand out more profit. If your tighten stop loss triggers, and you're out of the trade, then simply wait for the next signal to re-enter. Be mechanical and unemotional. Do not chase trades based on greed or anger. Emotions will only get you burnt. A final point to note is that trade management should be based on what price action is dictating on the higher timeframes, not on fear, news, and certainly not on others' opinions, including your own. Remember, News items will have already been factored into the market as institutions pay a lot of money to get news early. So by the time we, the private trader, hear the news, it's old and already been traded on. Do not deviate from your plan 
always focus on the process and not the money as that is what will help you catch the big moves and to see returns consistently. A final tip is to back test with a wide initial stop loss and a wide trading stop loss to see how much profit you will have accumulated by taking only a few good trades with a small risk and letting your winning trades run rather than jumping in and out of trades using tight stops, target levels and poor risk management. Hi, this is Collar. This is the weekly market analysis. So we're going to begin by covering the Forex market. Market has been quiet for some time now, so let's have a look at some interesting looking pairs. First of all, we're going to look at the US dollar index just to see how the dollar is actually doing overall. If we look at the monthly time frame, we can see that price at the moment is approaching last year's high. And you find that last year's high is a strong area of resistance, as you can see, price failed to break through around here so if price can actually break through on its next attempt then we should see further moves to the upside above last year's high we can see the 100 dollar round number which is a strong psychological area of support and resistance so let's have a look at the weekly time frame now weekly we can see that price is above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages for quite some time, price has been hovering around the 200 simple moving average, but has since stayed above this area. So this means that the bias is bullish for the meantime. And if we go to the daily time frame, we can see that price is above the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. Recently, we saw price bounce around the 200 simple moving average, and more recently, price has bounced off the 50 simple moving average. And we're seeing strength to the upside so at the moment price is squeezing to the upside if we put the crosshair here so we can see that this is a strong area of resistance which is also last year's high and we can see that the 200 simple moving average is forcing price to squeeze in a narrow area and it once price squeezes tight enough we should see a breakout either to the upside or the downside but as price is currently moving to the upside the bias is for a breakout above this high if we do see a breakout then we can look for some trading opportunities in US dollar forex pairs let's look at the euro dollar now and if we look at the monthly time frame we can see that price is around last year's low so this is a strong area of support if price does manage to break through this area of support then we should see further moves to the downside on the weekly time frame price is below both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages we can see that price has been heading down since february 2018 started to go sideways around here so a period of consolidation so as long as price can break below this area's previous low then we should see further moves to the downside on the daily time frame you can see that price has been heading down again here we saw that as well on the weekly time frame and price has been using the 50 simple moving average as resistance helping it to move to the downside and as i mentioned previously we just want to see if price can break and close below this low which is also around the last year's low then we should see further moves to the downside and there should be trading opportunities once that happens next forex pair we are looking at is the us dollar swedish krona on the monthly time frame if we just zoom out we can see that price is currently just above last year's high but we still have this previous high which is a strong area of resistance so if price can continue to move higher we want to see whether price can actually break and close above this previous high on the weekly time frame price is above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages and looking strong at the moment since january 2018 on the daily time frame price is currently using the 50 simple moving average as support helping it along its way up so as long as price can break and close above this previous high then we should see further moves to the upside last forex pair we're looking at today is the pound swedish corona now here we see a price is currently just below last year's high so finding that area as a strong area of resistance if price continues to head down then we may see price come down as low as last year's low or we may see price try to attempt to break above this area of resistance again on the weekly time frame price is currently above both the the 50 and 200 simple moving averages not the best although price is heading up not the best looking trend 
as we can see we saw a nice move up here then a long period of consolidation and another breakout above this high and prices since pulled back again if we look at the daily time frame price is currently below the 50 simple moving average but above the 200 simple moving average so ideally we want to see price above both of these moving averages as price is below the 50 we want to stand aside and just wait for price to break and close above this high before even considering taking any long opportunities now moving over to stocks now we're going to begin by looking at microsoft now if you look at the monthly time frame we see overall price has been heading in this nice strong uptrend we had this deep move to the downside from october 2018 price found support around the 100 dollar round number and has since found strength back to the upside so as you can see the all these bars have been green so these bars represent all the bars for this year so far so the whole year has been bullish for microsoft if we look at the weekly time frame price is looking strong here as well after bouncing off the 50 simple moving average and i mentioned on the monthly time frame that price found support around the 100 dollar around the number you can also see that here and if you look at the daily time frame price is above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages so from this point in december 2018 price has been in this nice uptrend and currently making higher highs and higher lows next stock we are looking at is nike now nike as well looking bullish overall here on the monthly time frame and price is trading above last year's high on the weekly time frame see that price is looking strong here as well we have this deep move to the downside similar period of time that we saw the move down in microsoft price found support around the 50 simple moving average and since found strength back to the upside price has created a new all-time high on the last candle here and if we go down to the daily time frame, we can see that prices above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. Price found support at the 50 simple moving average around here, and it says found momentum to the upside. So we just want to see price continue to create higher highs and higher lows. Next stock is Starbucks. Now Starbucks is looking nice and bullish overall. However, we did see price go into this long period of consolidation since then we've had a breakout of this consolidation here and also a breakout of last year's higher price of looking nice and strong on the weekly time frame prices above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages and looking strong at the moment from this point this was back in june 2018 and on the daily time frame Price is looking nice and bullish here as well, trading above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. So we had this steep pullback here, price found strength to the upside, a smaller pullback here, and since then we've seen a smaller pullback. So we just want to wait for a break and close above this previous high to confirm a continuation of this uptrend. Last stock we are looking at is JD Sports Fashion, a UK stock. Now monthly time frame is looking nice and bullish and price is now trading out of this area of wide consolidation and above last year's high. We can see how strong April's candle is so far this month. And if you look at the weekly time frame, we can see that price is currently above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. The previous week has been a nice strong bullish week here. And if you go to the daily time frame, price is above both the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. Price recently broke above this previous high. So we had this nice strong bullish candle above that high and price has continued to show strength to the upside. The last candle, as you can see, is an indecision candle. So we may see some weakness in the market, maybe temporary weakness. So we just want to wait for a break and close above a previous high, which will confirm a continuation of this overall bullish trend. Thank you for watching this episode of Mentoring Mondays with the Market Analysis. Don't forget to press subscribe and hit the notification icon so you can catch all of our updates and analysis as soon as they are available to you.